Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to expand the function by using binomial theorem. As compared to the formula, first term must be equal to 1, but this is not 1. So what we have to do here is to first factorize the value. So which means that we take out 8 and we left 1 minus 9 divided by 8x, the whole thing to the power of 1 over 3. According to the law of indices, if we have a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m, which means that for this case, we have 8 to the power of 1 over 3 times 1 minus 9 over 8x to the power of 1 over 3. And we know that 1 over 3 is simply cube root, so which means that we have 2 times 1 minus 9 over 8x to the power 1 over 3 and we can now apply the formula so 2 remain and we times 1 plus n is the power for this case is 1 over 3 and we times a a is the term negative 9 over 8x and we plus the third term again we have n 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial and we times a which is negative 9 over 8x to the power of 2 and we have the fourth term and let's say we don't want to keep referring to this formula that let's include so always start with 1 plus followed by n minus 0 so we have n which is 1 over 3 minus 0 we get back 1 over 3 since we have only one term here so we should over 1 factorial and next we have 1 over 3 minus 0 times 1 over 3 minus 1 1 and 2 terms so it's supposed to have 2 factorial followed by power 2 so the next term we have 1 over 3 minus 0 times 1 over 3 minus 1 times 1 over 3 minus 2. 1, 2, 3, 3 terms, so 3 factorial and we times minus 9 over 8x to the power of 3. And for the next term we have plus 1 over 3 minus 0 times 1 over 3 minus 1 times 1 over 3 minus 2 times 1 over 3 minus 3. Altogether, we have four terms here, so 4 factorial, and we times minus 9 divided by 8x to the power of 4. If we are asked to express the function up to the term including x to the power of 4, then we can stop here. Otherwise, we should expand further. Next, we can make use of calculator to determine the value. So firstly, 2 remain and we times 1 plus, for this case, we have 1 over 3 and we times negative 9 over 8. And this is equal to negative 3 over 8. Don't forget we have x here. And for the next term, we don't have to times all over again. What we have to do here is times the extra term. So as compared to the previous term, what we have extra here is this. So 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. This is supposed divided by 1 factorial. 1 factorial is equal to 1. 2 factorial is equal to 1 times 2, which means that we have extra 2 here. And we have square here, but here is to the power of 1, which means that extra negative 9 over 8. So we just have to add the answer times bracket 1 over 3 and we minus 1 close bracket divided by extra 2, this 2. So divided by 2 and we times negative 9 over 8. So we obtain negative 9 over 64x to the power of 2. And for the next term we have, we just have to again add the extra term. 
Then previously we already added 1 over 3 minus 1 and we have 1 times 2 and this is 1 times 2 times 3 so extra 3 and extra 1 over 3 minus 2 and this extra as compared to square this is cube so extra negative 9 over 8 as well so we have minus 2 for this case and supposed to divide 3 Press equal and we shall obtain the correct value 45 divided by 512 x to the power 3 and for the last term that we have here again same we should change a little bit here so change to 3 and divided by 4 press equal we obtain minus 135 divided by 2048 x to the power 4 and so on lastly we just have to times this series by using 2 so which means that 8 minus 9x to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus minus minus 2 times 3 over 8 3 over 4x and we minus 9 divided by 32x square minus 45 divided by 259x cube and we minus 135 divided by 1024x to the power 4 and so on and hence we're done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you